Hey what's going on guys, it is Jaco and welcome back to some more GTA 6 Concepts. And today's topic is going to be the inventory system, weapon wheel, and how the new inventory system is going to work in GTA 6, at least for the single player side of things, because we got some brand new leaks here, and I even have a picture from, I believe, Rockstar's recent breach. Or this could be from the other leaks back in 2022, I'm not entirely sure, but that is going to be today's topic, is the new inventory system. I'm going to try my best to explain what is going on here and talk about what I do and don't like about it. Of course, if you guys would like to check out any of the previous or future episodes of GTA 6 Concepts where we discuss some things we love to see in GTA 6, I'll leave the full playlist down below in the description, as well as let me know some other concepts and topics you guys would like to talk about in the comments down below. I I'd also quickly like to mention that though this is a recent breach some of these things can still change for the final product of gta 6 and there can be differences within gta 6 online so if you're like me and probably won't be a fan of this new system then maybe it'll change for online which i really really hope it does Nonetheless though, it is exciting to take a look into GTA 6 and how this is going to work inventory and weapon wheel wise. But first off, let's look at the left side where the trauma kit is and some uh, pills and some cigarettes are as well. These are obviously where your consumables are gonna be. What cigarettes are gonna do, I'm not entirely sure because in Red Dead they worked for your dead eye and pills, I'm not entirely sure either. Maybe it's a stamina regen sort of thing or maybe it's like a health kit, but it gives you less health or it could give you more health than the trauma kit not entirely sure but i like the idea of that it kind of works how snacks in the weapon will work right now in gta online hell it was probably even inspired from the recent change made in gta online or vice versa where you have quick access to be able to heal yourself to be able to regen your stamina we don't know what the cigarettes or pills are going to do but it looks like we're going to have quick access to consumables similar to red dead and similar to kind of what it is in gta online right now so i'm pretty excited for that and i'm excited for what other consumables we'll be able to use and hell what they'll even do for our characters then we get to the nitty gritty stuff, the weapon wheel, which there's some things I do like and others I really don't. The flashlight would probably be used as a melee weapon or it could just be used as a flashlight like how you would normally use a flashlight in most games. Then you have your fist for unarmed combat. Then on the left side it looks like a flashbang or a smoke grenade that you could be able to throw as a throwable so that's probably where your throwables will go. And then probably my least favorite change is that there's going to be a pistol and one two armed long arm rifle. Now there is an empty slot on the right that could also be for another pistol. And like I said, this isn't set in stone, so it'll probably look different in some of the other leak screenshots you guys may or may not see. And let me say why I don't like this. First of all, in Red Dead 2, it worked really, really great because most of the weapons were the same. You had your bolt action rifles, your repeaters, and then your handguns, your revolvers, and semi-automatic pistols and that sort of thing. And there wasn't really much of a difference in Red Dead 2 and you always had your horse right next to you if you wanted to switch real quick to a shotgun or a bow because you saw something you were hunting that you wanted to get a clean kill on. But in GTA Online, we face a lot more enemies and we're constantly needing to switch our weaponry all the time. Think of the last time you were in a fight in GTA Online. You switched to a sniper, then you quickly switch to a rocket launcher, then you're back to your combat MG. And you might use your up and atomizer pistol slot to, you know, knock someone off their oppressor. There's so many more guns that we need in GTA Online and just GTA in general to keep things spicy and to just be able to combat things that we need to go up against. Having an AR and pistol is cool. You get really comfortable with the two guns. Yeah, sure, that's awesome. But when you go into a mission where there's gonna be helicopters or even tanks, or you have a opportunity to get a few long range kills, you're not gonna have your sniper with you. You're gonna have your AR for those close to medium range fights, but you're not gonna have your sniper or your rocket launcher or your grenade launcher or something like that. Now in single player, I don't really mind. I want single player to be a little bit more immersive, kind of like Red Dead was, and then compared to online side of things, I would definitely not mind it for single player. And considering there's going to be two main protagonists, maybe Lucia can have the sniper in the rocket launcher, and then Jason could have the AR and the pistols or the shotguns or something like that. So you can double your inventory, double your loadout space because of the two main protagonists, which I think will be a thing, and I'm not 
too mad about but i really don't want to see this when it comes to online because like i said we're gonna have too much difficulty being able to fight the things that we need to use certain things for like helicopters we need our rocket launcher or if there's gonna be a tank we need a rocket launcher you know etc that sort of thing but we're also gonna have to remember that our other weapons are gonna be, have to be stored somewhere like a trunk or another inventory just like how they were stored on our horse in red dead so in GTA Online, perfect, yeah, you can grab your rocket launcher out of the trunk real quick, but how is that inventory and UI system going to work? Because maybe it's kind of clunky, maybe it's too slow, and if you need a rocket launcher right now, maybe you're shit out of luck, and maybe your car is out in the middle of the road because that's where you parked it, because originally you were just supposed to pick up a package or something, and then shit goes downhill like it always does in GTA and GTA Online. So yeah, I could definitely see the inventory system being the trunk of your personal vehicle. But what if someone blows up your personal vehicle or you die and you spawn away from your personal vehicle? There's so much more that can go wrong in GTA Online that that's why I don't want to see the system weapon wheel inventory thing in place of GTA 6 Online. I wouldn't mind for single player because like I said, we can have double the inventory space because we'll have two main characters, but there's too much that can happen in GTA Online. There's too much we have to prepare for. And if that's gonna be how it is, then we're not gonna have enough to prepare for everything. And notice until now I haven't mentioned teammates in GTA Online cooperatively because a lot of people as of right now play GTA Online solo. I'm one of those few people or one of those many people I should say that play GTA Online solo. What if you're a solo player and all you can carry is your AR and your pistol? You could have a friend shirt that can carry the rocket launcher but what if they want to run an AR and yeah there's just the loadouts are going to completely contradict themselves i i don't like the idea of them in online i've made that very clear and i hope you guys kind of get where i'm coming from and how it's gonna i think do more bad than good maybe i'm getting upset about things that we'll never have to worry about maybe the animal economy for ars is gonna be awesome maybe we won't be able to hold 10,000 rounds like we can right now in gta online but maybe you know it's balanced to take out some of these things that we'll be able to counter in gta online like helicopters we shoot out the back rotors, put a few bullets in that. Maybe it'll take it out right away, but I don't know. I'm putting up the inventory screenshot, the leak screenshot up one last time. So in case you guys would like to keep it as a screenshot or something, take one last good look. I think after watching this video, a lot of you guys are going to end up agreeing with me that this inventory system, I don't think is going to work for GTA Online. It sure as hell would combat the griefers though and get rid of some of those guys. Unless there's going to be that one guy walking around with an RPG wherever he goes. Uh, that could be kind of weird but let me know what you guys think of the inventory system uh, this was an exciting one because we actually had something to look at that was probably leaked or confirmed in some way shape or form in actual gta 6 so it's been pretty exciting let me know what you guys think please remember to drop a like and subscribe turn on post notifications and i'll see you guys in the next one peace